the chance to get to know the people who keep our community safe and better. Yeah, so the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office is holding these Coffee with a Cop events. There's one going on right now. Channel 4's Chris Shriver is hanging out with them this morning. Chris, are a lot of people stopping by and saying hi? <laughs> That's right. You know, we've been playing Name That Police Officer with uh, Jennifer Wall all morning. She's been naming them off as we've been showing them. But you know what? We are here. We're at the corner of New Kings and Edgewood here on the northwest side. This is the second coffee with a cop, cup of joe with the JSO, percolating with the police, whatever you want to call it. Come on by, get yourself a free cup of coffee, and you get a chance to talk to wonderful officers like these behind me. Now, I got a chance to talk to the PIO just a few minutes ago, and I asked him a couple of questions about the first one and what they were taking away from the first coffee event and what they're bringing in for this event to make this thing go forward and to keep making it go smoothly. And here's what he had to say. Well, we did get some crime tips. Obviously, you get the drug tips, you get the prostitution tips. Um, but it, a lot of it was quality of life issues. Again, it's the animal complaints. It's the issues with the trees and the sidewalks. Uh, a lot of quality of life issues uh, that you would hear, uh, not necessarily for police, but again, they bring them to us, and then we can point them in the right direction or bring them to where they can get assistance in what they need. That's right. And you know, one of the other things that's going on here with Coffee with a Cop, a lot of folks bring their kids because it's a great chance for children to learn that police officers are good people to talk to, safe people to talk to. And if you ever are in trouble, if you're ever in need, that you can go to a police officer. And it's important to instill those values early on, JSO says. Uh, officer Archibald is here with me right now. And we've also got somebody who took part in Coffee with a Cop. Did you have any coffee today? No. No, this is Ellie. Ellie says coffee. she says she doesn't like coffee. Ellie tells me that she's been wanting to be a police officer for like four years. How old are you? Three years old. You're three? Well, how long have you been wanting to be a cop? I want to be a cop. <laughs> she wants to be a cop. She definitely wants to be a cop. What did you learn today? Was it fun? <laughs> she, she, uh, she obviously had decaf. Come on in here. What's your name, ma'am? Kara. This is Kara. Kara, what did you learn about police today at Coffee with a Cop? Uh, that they're afraid. <laughs> that they're that they're what? Afraid sometimes. They are afraid sometimes. You know, they're people like us, like you and me. They have emotions. They do you think they have families at home? Yeah. So cops are more or less like real people. They just have shiny badges, right? Uh -huh. And if you're ever in trouble, do you go to a stranger or do you go to a police officer? Police officer. Yes, good answer. Woohoo! See, we're learning stuff today and we're teaching the kids because the children are our future, right? That's right. That's right. <laughs> High five. High yeah. fives. High fives all the way around. All right, guys. Well, live uh, here on Northwest Jacksonville, we're having a great time here with Coffee on a Cop. Just a few minutes left. They're going to go until 10 a.m. this morning. Get your cup of joe. Talk to JSO. They'll talk about anything. And you want this time around? They're even more prepared. They have people that can answer your questions no matter what they are. You know what? This has been a great deal, and uh, I think we're all enjoying it. Back to you guys in the studio. Thank you very much, Chris. You can tell that Chris has children.